Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Terracon Blot. So, <clears throat> real quick, we're going to move him out of the way and take a look at his packaging. Uh, I found this at Walgreens, uh, the only one on the shelf. Um, they did have a, another Autobot, but uh, since I do, did eventually plan on getting Center Twin, I thought it only right that since they had ter uh, Terracon blocked, that I go ahead and pick him up because eventually I will collect all the Terracons so I can put them together and we'll do a review on that massive Transformer. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about the Terracons. Uh, I do know that one of the only Transformers I had uh, as a kid was Center Twin, uh, the G1 Center Twin, uh, and it was my favorite one. I just thought he looked cool, so I do plan on getting him uh, the new the uh, Power of the Primes uh, Center Twin, and then I'll, I'll get the others as well. So we'll take a look at the packaging. There's Blot there. You got Hasbro, Power of the Primes, Transformers Generations. There's the back. Shows his transformations. The Quintus Prime, Cedar of Life. Uh, Megatronus, Dark Warrior. And Solus Prime, Weapon Forger. Uh, as Prime Masters. So, I'm going to go ahead and move that out of the way. And let's take a look and see which Power of the Prime we got. And it looks like we managed to get Nexus Blot. Right there. And the card here forms Abominus without sharing his smell. <laughs> so, there's that card. Pretty cool. And then came with instructions. Now you can almost transform this guy without any instructions at all. Um, I looked at him once and that was it. And I didn't even really need most of the instructions. Really, I just needed to know what to do with his licks. Uh, the rest of it is pretty self explanatory. Uh, let's go ahead and aim this down a little bit bring them up there we go all right so first things first I'm going to show you how to transform him into his creature mode uh, and then after that we'll do his arm mode and his leg mode pretty easy stuff now as you can see here I've got his power of the primes thing in his hand because he just doesn't look right with it attached to his chest and the gun is actually pegged in sideways because this the handle is squared peg a square peg into a round hole it doesn't really look right see what I'm saying so let's go ahead and take that out but if you want to put his uh, power of the prime thing on his chest right here all you do is flip down his Decepticon logo and peg plug it in right there see what I mean he doesn't really look right at all He looks kind of beefy. Um, anyway, this part unplugs. And I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could plug this in there like that. It fits fine. I don't know why you would, but it is what it is. And to put it back in. 
see that rectangular hole down there? It goes in just like this. Just like that. And you can make a fist, a hand with it. Uh, you've got to grab it. See this rectangular part right here? That's pretty much how you got to grab the fingers to pull them out. And you can remove one of the thumbs so that it actually looks like a real hand so he doesn't have two thumbs and that's for either side either arm because he can form either arm and either leg as a terracon so now <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and put that back up and like i said it's really simple how you change them all right First things first, the hands. See how he's got these Wolverine-like claws here? Three claws. Well, you take the center claw and just push it. Flip the fist around. There's his claw, claws. All right. Then you take his backpack, rotate it up. Now the instructions say you should move it out and rotate that around like that, but it, it doesn't really look that good. It, it really doesn't. Um, now I'll show you how it looks in order. Yeah. See, it doesn't really fit down on there that well. So what I like to do is leave head side up and bring it down like that okay and now you're almost there next you take the feet and you pull them down okay so that they're just like that then take the legs guess you better put this part up like this take the legs and just put them like that and you'll peg them together okay see how there's two rectangular or uh, one rectangular peg here and one rectangular peg here this one will go into this hole this one will go into that hole okay. and you'll put this peg hole into this groove here all right and then you just bring them up like that and you're almost done you unpeg the terracon legs see how there's a peg right here and it pegs in to that hole right there so you just unpeg them bring them around and now you got Terracon block. Okay. And he stands up very really easily. And now how I like to put his weapons or his weapon in his power of the prime piece. This peg into this hole. Now I really wish he would have came with two guns because I hate lopsidedness. I I'm really OCD about this stuff like that. It needs to be even. You know, he needs to have another gun on this side. That's just me. That's how I am. And then what I do with his Power of the Primes piece is bring it out like this. Okay? Where the spikes are sticking out. And I'll plug it into that peg hole on the bottom of his feet. Just like that. And it's not a bad look. A uh, really cool figure, uh, very easy to transform. Like I said, I didn't even really need the instructions that much. I just needed to figure out what to do with his legs. And that's it. So now, 
And like I said, he's very easy to stand. He stands just about any way. He's very, very well balanced. Uh, something else I like to do, uh, similar to Trigger Happy, he does have a Guardian style mode. Uh, I don't know if it's an official mode or not, but bring his legs down. Okay. And then peg his creature feet or legs back in, just like that. Separate his legs. Okay. And now open that up. Bring out that part of his legs. I guess you got to detach the creature legs first. Do that. And plug the creature legs back in. If I can get it. Sometimes it's hard to get them just right. Anyway. Guess you can. Put them like that. And there you have Blot's Guardian Mode, similar to Trigger Happy's Guardian Mode. Okay? And you, you can get the other guns and from other Transformers figures and plug them in wherever you want. Make Really, really prepare them for battle. Just like that. That's pretty cool. I, 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 I like that. I, I really, really dig it. So anyway, now for to transform him into arm mode. Okay, let's go ahead and take the gun back out. Um, and you want to make sure and put his leg down like this. And this lip will go inside his leg piece, just like that. We bring his feet back up, plug the legs back in, back together. Once you have them like that, and you get, see this part, this part's a little bit difficult. Getting the legs pegged in just right. Just like that. Okay? Now you bring this backpack back down, only this time. Bring the head up. That's how you're going to connect it, I believe. That's how you're going to connect it to uh, the others. All right. Then you peg the legs together just like I showed you before. Rotate them around the arms. Take back like that. Okay, and you're almost there. Now you just take the hand Plug it in, and there you have his combined form hand, arm, whatever. And I'm not really sure how this goes in. Um, I'll know for sure once I get the other Terracons. Uh, but there's his hand and arm. It's cool. All right. Then to form. his leg, form leg mode, unpeg these legs, open them up, and then you'll bring them up, that, Let's see, give me just a second, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get it pegged together. Okay, there we go. 
Then we peg the legs back together. And uh, there he is in foot mode, I guess. Um, that's what the instructions said, so <laughs> I guess he pegs into one of the the main body portion of uh, Terracon's uh, legs, so like that. Not not very impressive, really, <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, anyway, now we'll go ahead and transform him back into his robot mode. Separate the legs. All right. Open up. Bring him down. Reconnect. And like I said, this peg plugs into that hole. And oftentimes, it is pretty difficult to get it lined up just right. And like I said before, make sure this lip goes inside the leg. Hold it in place. And then... that bring the arms around um, I already did that arm and you'll just fold the hand like that take them around there you go and as I said before number one we'll plug this back in just like that close them back up and I think put them in this hand and I'll peg this in just like that and there you go Terracon Blots. Pretty cool figure. Very simple transformation. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, I almost didn't get him because he looked too generic. But I'm, I'm really happy with him. I really enjoy him. Uh, I, I catch myself just uh, while I'm on my computer. Just transforming him. Uh, just fidgeting with him. Giving him, uh, giving my hands something to do. So, yeah, I can't wait to get the rest of the Terracons. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tune in, tune in again real soon for more from Comic Gen TV. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.